Paper was like gold in medieval times. Oh, not tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. He's been living and working here illegally. Uh, just been a lot of weirdos coming out of the woodwork lately. Ah, no. We probably had no secrets. Let me in. Open the door, Ben. Open the fucking door. Okay, Mum. Get the camera out of my face. Sarah, would you leave the poor child alone? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, that one, yeah. Sure you want to sell all of these? No. I want to donate them to the black babies. Bit of a tight one, you. Gonna have to watch it. Here's the statement sick from Dundrum a few hours ago. Fourteen-year-old girl hasn't come home missing eight hours or so, give or take. Mother's name's Sarah. Father Ben Bailey. Runs a security firm. Separated. What made you go along with it anyway? It was just an excuse so she could get out of having dinner with Trish. It's completely irresponsible of you. So, you were the last to see Amber, is that right? No, you read my statement. What was Amber's mood like when you left her? Well, she was in good form. Um, she wanted to hang out with her friend Jenny. I, I thought that was fine. I dropped her near Jenny's house. Should have dropped her straight to the front door. Watched her go in. Has Amber ever run away before no. and have stayed out without contacting you? 
How long have you lived at separate addresses? Amber hasn't run away. She's either had an accident or she's been taken. Well, is there anything in particular that would make you think that? She hasn't answered her phone and... Now it's not ringing at all. She wouldn't worry us like that. She just wouldn't. Tell him we'll be back. What happened? They know where you live now. You okay? It just pushed me. Threw stuff around. He was looking for cash. I'm sorry I was in here, Jim. Would have been worse if you were. I don't want to see him again. You've got to get him off your back. I'm going to sort this. <laughs> Just get them everywhere. Why are we not running the incident room from District HQ? Well, we are, sir. His father's an ex-army ranger. This is his security firm. He wants to run his own show from here. What are you thinking? The worst. I mean it. I don't think this one has a happy ending. I've got a feeling. Turning psychic on us. Well, let's just keep an unblinking eye on Ben Bailey, okay? Seriously. That fella you know who was growing marijuana, is he still around? Oh, he got raided a couple of months ago. Considering a life of crime, Charlie, huh? <laughs> no, I just need some extra cash, bad. I know somebody could front you a little something, maybe. Uh, no more loan sharks. What about all these phones you got coming in? Can't wipe them fast enough to sell. I could take them home, blank them there, pay me a euro per phone. Pay you 50 cent a phone? <laughs> 75. A lot of these small phones take ages to do. Okay, tell you what, 60 cent? Yeah? Yeah. Probably lots of mucky pictures on these things, huh? You find it? No, Dev, I'm not looking. You find something juicy, you save it for me. I'll pay you extra, okay? You're not in trouble. I love you. But Dad's want you to come home. She bought something. Recognize the bag? No. Let's bring the parents in. See if it means anything to them.
in our class. Amber did dance class with her last year. Lives around the corner from Amber. He's my cousin. I don't know who that is. Okay. This is a bag Amber had on the Lewis. Do you know what shop it comes from? No. We only went into town a few times, and usually a big group of us together. It wasn't that big a deal. I think you're old enough now. Wow, this is brilliant. Even better than Amber's. <laughs> mm. Now you can talk to me and your mum and dad anytime. Oh, here, let's put in everyone's numbers. Can I do it myself? Okay. This is the seventh reported sighting of Amber Bailey outside of Ireland and the second in the UK in the last six days. Can we get Let's bring the plates up. Extensive coverage okay. worldwide. Okay. Rumors of sightings from as far afield as Hanover in Germany. So Even one in Australia where a witness <laughs> claims to have seen a teenage girl Sons. who resembles Amber Shh. on a luxury <laughs> yacht in Western Australia. Me and the missus were up in Coral Bay over the weekend. We're diving off this reef. Then we seen the boat. And as it came closer, there she was, on the boat, or someone who looked exactly like her. <laughs> there were a couple of girls on board, and one of them was like, oh, I'm 99 percent sure. Now, that girl that was here was Amber Bailey. OK, guys. Dib's not on. Dib's not on. You're on. You're on. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, here. Now I always know where you are. Your phone. Got you. She cheated. Look at this, Mum. My phone has GPS. It knows where I am. Maybe we can find Amber like this. Oh, love, um, Amber's phone doesn't have that. Is this why you got that phone? Yes. I thought I should have bought one like that for Amber. Maybe we wouldn't have lost her. No. I just I know how to raise my kids. Hey Amber, it's me. Mum really wants you to come home. She's really worried about you. 
but I'm looking after her now. Send back. Remember seeing one like this in her bedroom? Her mother said it was broken just before she disappeared. Well, she obviously went into town to buy a new one. Thanks for the tea. That's the best cup ever. Sorry, Sarah, it's the police for you. Hello. Hi, it's Sergeant Karen Mulcahy here. I need you to come and meet us. Police investigating the disappearance of missing teenager Amber Bailey say that a distinctive lamp has been discovered in a body of water in South County Dublin. She asleep, okay? Calm down. You're still working. Another 20 minutes. Jesus, this girl still. I ran away once when I was 11. Got stuff with me, man. Did I tell you that? Mm. Only made it to Drumcondra for like eight hours. Walk back. No one had even noticed. Hey, that's near your shop. Look. In weeks, it points the investigation in the direction of Parnell Street in the north inner city of Dublin, where the lamp was purchased. Anything? Nothing. No, nothing either. No look there, no. No. Let's ask this guy. Excuse me. Uh, hiya. We're actually looking for a missing girl. Would you mind having a look at her photograph? No. The Emporium has cameras inside, but they override the drive every two weeks. Everything with Amber is gone. And the girl who served her said she thinks she was alone. Okay, let's keep going then. Yeah. We're looking for a missing girl. Would you mind looking at this photograph? Sure. Ah, uh, yes, I see this girl on the news. It's, it's very sad, you know. I'm afraid I've never seen her. Does anybody else work here? Yeah, only Charlie, but he's just popped out for the moment. Where did you disappear to? Nowhere. Yeah, Mama. Just a Charlie. What oh, Charlie? Ireland. Ireland. So you've set up a confidential phone number, haven't you? Yes, you can phone, you can email, visit the website, write a letter. If people want to remain anonymous, they can stay anonymous. And we'll be giving out those details in just a few moments. We have another caller on the line now. Deirdre Costello. 
And his phone was used to call China. Have we got a number? No. There's a firewall on all calls into China. Untraceable from this end. Got a lead on where the phone was when the call was made, though. I just can't. Then what? She's dead? So what we're doing now is looking for a body. She's not dead. Well, then what's worse, Sarah? Some sick bastard has her. So you're gonna have to get it into your head that she's not off having a tea party with the sugar plum fairy. Take it easy, Ben, all right? I've never understood you. Oh, Sarah, you've never understood the world. The real world is filled with horrible people who do terrible things. Unless we find them and we stop them. Okay, Ben. Finish thumping your chest. Uh, we need headlines. Remember them? You used to write them when you had a job. Maybe instead of doing nothing, you could go off and start a few rumors to keep Amber in the papers. That's how it works, isn't it? Sorry, Detective Inspector Dunlop on the line for you. Put him through. To my office. in a city, Parnell Square area. Where Amber bought that lamp. Very close by. I've men covering the area again as we speak. Have you told my wife about this? My next call. I'll tell her. I want to be careful not to get her hopes up before knowing if this means something. We are not going to let Ben get away with treating you like this. You know, the only person who Ben's life that matters is Ben himself. It's always been like that. He's selfish and he is shocking the reaction. I miss you. Everyone does. You should just come home now. They're fighting again. But they're not mad at you. And I... Who are you talking to? I wanted to hear her again, even for a second. It's stupid. No, it's not stupid. you tell her? Just anything. You leave one. She might hear them. You don't know that she doesn't.
Hey. What happened? I don't know, I mean, somebody picked up, but I, I couldn't hear if it was her. Keep trying, she might answer again. Hey. Eamon's been leaving messages on Amber's phone and he asked me to call just to leave one as well. And well, the call worked, someone answered. You spoke to someone, you, you heard a voice. No, but it doesn't matter. I mean, now you can track it or trace it or whatever, can't you? Well, we have been attempting to, yes. But now you know the phone's out there working again. Well, someone's using it. Well, we knew that already. I spoke to Ben about this days ago. He didn't tell you. Here, let me do that. Who the hell do you think you are? Sarah. The state you've been in recently, I didn't think you could handle any more false hope. Do you realize how fucking patronizing that is? I'm not a child, Ben. It's not your call. I was trying to protect you. Protect Sarah. me! No. Okay, the well, guards are monitoring the phone. Trying to control me. Keep me in my place, out of your to way, which is what you've always done. And I'm not going to stand for it anymore. I'm not going to stand for it anymore. I'm, not call. I'm sorry, Sarah. Again. But Amber's phone being used to call China proves she doesn't have it anymore. I called Amber's phone and somebody picked up. What? Turned off. Probably never to be turned on again. Look, whoever it is might might have some idea of what's happened to Amber. Run down to the printers with this. Oh yeah, sure. No worry. I've got this Sunday off. Dad asked me to come round with Gabby. You free? Are you free? I don't know. He doesn't like me. He does. Something wrong with your curry? One of the phones I took home from work was hers. That missing girl? They had pictures and video of her. Show me. I left it into her father's office. Anonymously. Why didn't you say something before? 
I could have dropped it in, in person. They'd have given a reward. You'd have taken money for this. We're not exactly swimming in cash at the minute, are we? We're not that bad. We need cash and you just threw it away. My dad's right. You're soft in the head sometimes, Charlie. Hello, Margaret. Have you got a minute? Just a couple of things. Uh, there's a friend of mine. She really wants to meet you. She's been incredibly useful in other cases. What are we talking about? She's a psychic. She's been having... No, this... I don't have time for this. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel... Well, there's enough crackpots around here now, Margaret. What's going on with the desk? Ollie, he's not coming back. I was trying to make sense of it all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Anybody know who owns this? It's two weeks. There should be something about the phone by now. Let it go, Charlie. It's too much risk for us if you get involved. You don't know why it's like to lose someone, Gemma. What if it was Gabby that went missing? You want them to do whatever they could, wouldn't you? Charlie, please. Promise me I'll drop it. It's not worth it. No, you have enough to deal with uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, darling. Yes. No. Uh, I can help you open some. Well, you filled out a volunteer form already? Uh, yes. Oh. Charlie. <laughs> Margaret, come on, so I'll just take this little fella back to his mum. Okay. Here, I think Margaret heard him. Hello. Yeah, Michael. Hello. Right. So we. What's your name? Mr. Bailey, there's someone on the phone for you about the reward. So we'll have the meeting in the afternoon. So yeah, I, I think. And Bailey? Uh, yes, I know it. I can be there in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. How did you find it? Well, I'm going to have to see it first. Six, seven hours, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I know what that is. I'll see you in 15 minutes. What's your name? Uh, Charlie. Press star and the button with my name on it to transfer a call, okay? Mm -hmm. Technically, you can catch me on my mobile. Oh, and thanks for volunteering. All right. See you then. Bye. Everything all right? Some man called Mr. Bailey about the reward. Sounded important. <laughs> Just another crook looking for money. Ben, this is clearly not. I know, I know, it's not her. You have to stop paying out for stuff like this, you know. Give me your man's name, I'll get your money back for you. No, I, I don't want to put off someone coming forward with something real. Thanks. See ya. We need the manpower. They won't budge on the manpower. Sir, another two weeks at full There's nothing live to warrant the bodies we have on it at this point. You know, it's standard up to reduce numbers on a missing persons. You're not the one who has to explain that to the parents. Look, assure the Baileys that you and I are still on the case and committed to continuing the search. Yeah. The super's made his decision. Anything strong comes up, and we'll make a case to shift men back onto it. Is he ready? He's packing. They're reducing the team looking for Amber. Two months in. Not 
worth the manpower. I'm sorry. Don't tell Amy. Of course not. He had a row in school. What happened? He kicked a boy who said Amber was dead. Hi, Mum. Hi, love. Hi. You ready? Yeah. Bye, darling. Thanks, Mum. Wait there. See you later. ignore what people say to you in school about Amber. They're lying. I know she's still alive. Hey, Gabby. Hey. Where were you? I uh, got some stocking late. They've asked me to stay back. No, he didn't. Passed by there on my way from work. Jeff said you left at four. How do I take it out? I'll show you, honey. I went to that office. Amber's father. A heart. You promised me you dropped that. This is a heart for you. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. This hardly ever comes. They think I'm a volunteer. No one asked me anything. Stay away from that place. Your family is more important than some girl you don't even know. Your a girl just... like me? A girl like you? No, a different girl, honey. Gemma. Gemma. Look, a star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I have to duck out to the printers before they shut. Are you ready to leave yet? I want to finish these. I don't think Ben's about anymore and I have to lock up. I can stay here till you get back. You sure? It could be half an hour. It's fine. All right, so. I'll give them out where I work. It's a box right there. What are you really doing? That's what I came for. Why are you here? I found the phone with pictures of your daughter on it. I think it was hers. Where is it? That's what I'm looking for. You just said you had it. But I dropped it here in an envelope weeks ago. I never got it. Why didn't you just hand it to me? Please. It must be here somewhere. What does it look like? It's silver. It has black markings on the back. What were these pictures that were on it? Lots of photos, I. I saw a video. Your daughter and a friend painting. Painting. They were painting mermaids on a wall. It's not here. You're lying to me. I'm not. I delivered it here. Well, then how come no one saw it? What do you really want? Money? I'm sorry. This is the truth. Amber's phone was used to call China. Who are you working with? No one. I made that call. My mother at home. I told you. I just found the phone. Well, then where is it now? I don't know. What are you doing? Who are you calling? Detective Inspector Dunlop, please. No, I can't speak to the police. Ben Bailey. Please, you don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. You sit down. Roy, I bet this guy... I told 
call you. I can't speak to the police. They'll deport me. Why? Why are you in trouble? Nothing. Please, I found the phone. I don't know anything else about your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> So, what was the cause of the fight? We had a disagreement. It got out of hand. I'm okay now, thank you. Can I see your ID, please? I'm fine, really. I don't want to press any charges. Well, we can talk about that in a minute. Can I see some ID now, please? I can't go back. I have a family here. My girlfriend has a daughter. She calls me her daddy since she was born. I have to be here for them. Then I advise you to appeal. I mean, it can take months, but the policy these days that... We'll talk about this again in a while. Okay, Charlie? Charlie, I'm Sergeant Karen Mulcahy. I need to ask you a few questions about this phone. Records. You keep any? Of course. But we're a little bit behind at the moment. Well, because most of your stock is nicked. I warned Charlie about taking stuff in unrecorded. This is the first time I'm hearing about the girl's mobile phone. I promise you, this shop has nothing to do with her disappearance, okay? Thank you. I don't know where it was from. It was just one of many phones. I didn't know it was important until I saw the pictures. Then I wanted to help. Please. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, every pickpocket and junkie in the city supplies the shop. I got the name and description of a few regulars. What about your man? He might give us the name of the gang who smuggled him into the country. They've been hassling him for money for years. You're in my seat. It's been ages. When are they gonna let me talk to him? As I said, Mr. Huang is being questioned now. Please take a seat. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to come up with me? D.I. Dunlop was on duty when he was picked up. You want another case, Mulcahy? I'm not done with this. He's abandoning the search. Might be time for you to do the same. In 
you go, babe. Sorry, Charlie, but I don't think she's coming. We have to go. I suppose this becomes part of her normal life in a strange way. And I look back to the beginning and she got caught up in the search. Let's go, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Yeah. 